Oh my god, it's pumping wheelies! Oh, this is so good! This is so good! Full TFT dash, you have Bluetooth connectivity for your navigation, for your music. I quite like this look if I'm uh, completely honest. So this is the Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RS. As you can see, the RS, if it's not a dead giveaway. So I've been given this bike to ride and review by Triumph New Zealand, so thanks to them. And this is a 1200cc, 180 horsepower monster. I've been riding this bike for about almost three weeks now. And um, I'll be very honest, never been a fan of the front look of this bike. That Hornet kind of look, because it kind of looks like half done. Because if you look from the side, bike looks great but from here like from here to back but this bit I, I really wish there was like a proper fairing or like a full there there is a, a double R version that comes with a bikini fairing that only kind of ends here but yeah to be fair it's actually started to grow on me now because I quite like this look if I'm uh, completely honest it's it's not so bad as a uh, as bad as I thought it would be. I'll turn it on and I'll show you what it looks like with the lights on. So those are daytime running lights and from far that's how it looks. Look, so I'll tell you the specs about this bike. Uh, 180 horsepower, 1200cc. The suspension is Olin's front and back. It's fully adjustable suspension. Those brakes, um, they are four piston Brembo calipers with Brembo master cylinder and comes with adjustable levers. Although I haven't touched them since I uh, bought it because they've, they've been perfect. They've been really, really, really good. And then a couple of other things. So you have full TFT dash. You have Bluetooth connectivity for your navigation, for your music. I can even connect my GoPro, which uh, I actually haven't bothered. And another great thing, this bike doesn't have a key. As you can see, there's no slot to enter your key. All this comes with is this, the key fob that I have in my pocket. This is the button here. And then you just turn it on and off from there and to lock it you just turn it either way and press the lock one there you go it's locked now and then press it again to unlock and then it's not unlocked then you have heated grips oh my god let me tell you how good these heated grips are they have been so good especially in this cold weather that we have uh, although it's not so cold today then you have cruise control I've used that and it's a great feature <laughs> although don't use it as often and uh, it's not adaptive cruise control that you get in the cars these days but yeah it's 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 a great feature then you have quick shifter that thing is actually really really good i wasn't expecting to like it that much i was like oh i can i can do it by myself i don't need a quick shifter assistant so this bike comes with metzler tires they are quite grippy especially when it's dry and they're warm they will hook into the corner really nicely and i really like the look in here that you have a single side swing arm not a double side and it's just an empty side so if you look from the side and then the back this is how it looks from the back quite nice hey and another thing which i was quite surprised to find is this pulsating indicator so if you see they are pulsating there it's quite nice i really like it okay so let's let's go for a ride and then i'll tell you more about the bike and how it rides and yeah we'll uh, we'll talk further so before we get going i'll tell you about the modes on this bike so comes with road then you have sport track then rider you can choose your own uh modes in that uh you can switch off the abs you can switch off the traction control which of course i would not want to then there's rain mode rain mode basically um make sure that you don't lose traction everything's in road abs and abs is in uh, road mode and everything else is in rain mode then road mode is that's what i've been what i've been riding on i want to try out the sport mode which i haven't tried yet the suspension is um not sure if the suspension is adjustable automatically because that's a 1200 double r thing on the bike the suspension is already quite comfortable on this bike um so let's start with uh, road mode and then uh, we'll switch it to sport and then uh, we'll go from there let me also show you how this bike sounds because it's it does actually sound pretty good let me turn it on the 
that's how it sounds and yeah we'll uh, go for a ride so it's quite a nice bike to ride even in traffic and um, because it's an inline three the torque is down low as well so even if you're riding in like fourth gear um, you're perfectly fine and it's it's there's no lag there's no jerk or anything quite a comfortable and easy ride on this bike and there you go that's plus the shift and I'm in fourth gear and I'm doing 51 k's and then plus left down shifts as well it's quick quick shifter up and down so both ways and um, I usually do it when I'm high up in revs um, yeah I don't really do it when I'm low down in revs because it's just it's just a little bit smoother with the clutch on right let's uh, let's give it a hoon <laughs> that was good. Got to be a bit sensible. And then that's how you engage the cruise composure. Double tap it, and then uh, that's it. It's, um, especially when you're driving down straight roads, it's, it's quite comfortable because then you can just sit back and, and you know, enjoy the road and, and yeah, and then let people like these parts. <laughs> Oh my god, it's popping wheelies! Oh, this is so good! This is so good! Oh, the suspension definitely feels a lot firmer. I don't know why. Because it doesn't even have electronic suspension, so... I don't know if it's linked. Or maybe it's just me. But yeah, the suspension definitely does feel a little bit firmer. Compared to what when it was in road mode. And it, still, it's not that hard of a suspension that you won't be able to ride it on a daily basis bike. I think people who would like to ride this bike on a daily basis from work to home and home to work and, and other things, they would be perfectly fine with this. coming up Woo, that was good there's always gravel on this corner that corner is fine but like see there you go because of that road there's always gravel so I always have to be very careful in this corner there was once that I almost got caught out from that corner
Yes, sir. This is it. What an absolute love of beast this bike is. I've honestly, I, I am, I am lost of words. Like this bike is phenomenal. Like this, this is such a good bike. It corners, it leans, it just does everything that you tell it to do and it will do it happily. No questions asked. If you want to go fast, yeah, okay. First of all, go. If you want to go slow, okay, yeah, that's fine. I can, I can have a chill ride. So yeah, my verdict on this bike. If I have the money and if I'm looking for a new bike that would do everything to take me to work, take me to a track day and have a chill ride with the buddies yes I would definitely buy this bike no questions asked I would 100% buy this bike well thank you for uh, watching this and uh, I'll see you in the next one see ya